Hinihirap po natin ang ating ulo bilang pagpipigay puri sa presensya ng ating Panginoon sa oras na ito. Panginoon, salamat po sa mga pagpakala at biyaya na pinagkalaw din niyo sa amin sa araw-araw. Kami po ay nagpapakumbaba para sa kapatawahan ng aming mga sala na aming nagagawa sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa tulot ng aming kahinaan. Sa buwag dalangin namin na pagkalawan mo po kami ng sapat na kakayahan upang magampalan ang aming mga gawain at tungkulin simula sa aming punong panlalawigan at mga nahalal na opisyales ng aming pamahalaan. Mga pinuno ng tanggapan hanggang sa pinakamababang kawani. Ang lahat ng ito ay aming pinagpupuri, pinagpapasalamat, sinasamot pinadalangin sa palal na pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. Ilagay po natin ang ating kanang kamay sa kaliwang dibdib para sa ating pagbansang awit. Paspor natin ang ating kanang kamay para sa panunumpa sa katapatan sa matawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang manunumpa sa matawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisan na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na ipinakikilos ng sambay ng mga Diyos, makakalintasan, makatao at makabansa. Para tiling po natin nakataas ang ating kanin. Ako ay isang lingkod bayan. Katungkulan ko ang maglingkod ng buong katapatan at kausayan at makatulong sa katagahan at kaunaran ng aking bayan. Magiging bahagi ako ng kaayusan at kapayapaan sa pamala at magiging halimbawa ako ng isang mamayang masunuri at nagpapatupad ng mga umiiram na batas at alituntunin ng pantay-pantay at walang inipilingan. Magsisikap ako ang patuloy na madagdagan ang aking kabatiran at kaalaman. Ang bawat sandali ay itutuloy kong itong butil na gagawin kapakipakinabang. Lagi kong isasaan ang alam ang interes ng nakararami bago ang pansarili kong kapakanan. Isusulong ko ang mga programang mag-aangat sa antas ng kabuhayan ng mga mahihirap at aktibo ako makikibahagi para sa mga takilang layunin sa lipunan. Hindi ako magiging bahagi at isisiwala ko ang anumang kaliwalian na makaaabot sa aking kalaman. Sa lahat ng panahon, aking pagsisikapang makatugon sa hamon sa lingkod bayan. Ang lahat ng ito ay para sa takilang lumika at sa ating bayan. Kasi anawa ako ng Panginoon. Our vision. By 2020, Batan Province will be the preferred location for Lego industrial investment, leading to the highest human development index in the Philippines. Our mission, excellent public service towards a better quality of life for all. Core values. We will be guided by the following God-centered values. Integrity. Firm adherence to honesty, accountability, and transparency resulting to public trust. Humility and simplicity, service with compassion and living simple lives, commitment to excellence, dedication and passion to serve and ensure we will always be better than before and better than expected. Holistic, 
balance approach for the welfare of the people and the environment, adaptability and innovativeness, resilience to change and public creative solution, unity, working together towards common goals while respecting diversity. Sa ating mga puting uh, Governor, Governor Abed Garcia, sa ating hong mga bukal, at sa ating hong lahat, isang magandang magandang umaga. Actually, oh, ang PGM group, kung minsan ho oh, ay napagkakamalan na PEN group. Ano ang kaibahan ng dalawang yun? Ang PGM group ay para sa probinsya. Pero ang Penro ay para rin sa probinsya, di ba? Kaya lang, ang Penro ang field office ng Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Samantalang ang PGNRO ay isang departamento na na-under ho sa provincial government. In the case of the PGNRO of Bataan, It was established immediately one year after the local government code was passed. Ito po, winelcome ho ng ating dating gobernador noon, si Governor Ted Garcia, ang evolution ng Integrated Social Forestry Program. Yun po ang pinakaumpisa ng PGN Ro. Kaya po, ang karamihan ho ng personnel na natin transfer o dinibol from the DENR-10 were mostly foresters because they were implementing the integrated social forestry. Alam mo ninyo ang pinakauna nating PGN ro? Kilala ninyo pa? Si Mr. Ermito Loreto. Siya ho ang pinakaunang PGM ro natin. Sa pag-inog ng pagdaan ng mga taon, the office's functions have evolved to become Bataan's main mover, partner, coordinator, and cooperating cooperator in protecting our natural resources and the environment in general. Alam po ninyo itong mga functions na ito ay mas na-emphasize Noong i-attack sa vision ng bataan ang prefix na ECHO sa ECHO Industries. Kasasabi pa lamang po kanina, ang ating pong vision ay maging preferred location ng ECHO Industries para ho makamit natin ang pinakamataas na Human Development Index sa Pilipinas. At yun po, dahil ho sa, punks, sa vision statement na ito, ay mayroon tayo ng marching order para ma-operationalize ito. And because of these marching orders from our Governor Abed Garcia, the PGN Ro has committed to transform the office to become Bataan's Environment Security and Sustainability Center or the best center. We have also committed to serve as the province's prime mover in managing and protecting our environment. These two major final outcomes are our guides in conceiving, coordinating, or implementing our major programs and projects and activities. Under the first MFO, we are striving to strengthen the office in terms of its personal complement, in terms of its equipment inventory, and most especially, our mandate. Our efforts to recruit new blood into the office have been slightly delayed by the election ban. But with the help of our Human Resources Management Office, led by Ms. Luz Enriquez here, and our Selection and Promotions Board, shared by Attorney Joey Angeles, we are confident that we shall be able to fill up at least 50% of our vacant positions by year end. 
and uh, we do hope to be able to recruit proficient and technically capable, capable personnel. In terms of our equipment and logistic support, our internal procurement processes within the province and within the provincial bureaucracy uh, would surely help us in improving and updating our equipment inventory. However, we are also trying to explore possibilities of private sector assistance in providing some of this equipment. For example, we need computers, not, not really just ordinary computers, but GIS capable computers. We need GPS, gadgets, global positioning systems, so that in our monitoring activities, we may be able to locate on the ground whatever is, uh, is mapped out in our database. Indeed, these equipment are very important in trying to in the effective management of our environment and our natural resources. To clarify and provide a predictable environment regulatory framework for our private investors and partners, we are currently doing background research on updating the provincial environment too which we target to present to our Governor in July of this year. On the second MFO, the core activities focus on cooperating with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, led by Director Toto Milia and its nine bureaus, in the Lampunyo Line Bureau, EMB, Environment Management Bureau, and the Mines and Geosciences Bureau, in implementing and monitoring compliance to national environmental laws and regulations such as the revised mining act air and water pollution control acts the environmental impact assessment system and the revised forestry code we are constantly monitoring compliance to environmental laws by our industry locators in partnership with emp and we are happy to report that 100% of our large industries are continuously being monitored on their compliance to environmental laws. This we have achieved in partnership with EMP under the leadership of Director Claudio. In the case of our poultry and piggeries, we have noted several non-compliances and we hope together with the Provincial Veterinary Office led by Dr. Venturina, we can correct such situation and uh, together with the other departments that are mandated in our provincial poultry and livestock ordinance. To manage our air and water quality, we have requested the assistance of DNR to put up real-time air and water quality monitoring stations in key areas. And where are these key areas? Because of eco industries being uh, located in Mariveles and Limay, we hope that these air and water quality monitoring stations can be put up within the vicinities of uh, Mariveles and Limay. We have been informed that our request shall be included in the 2017 DNR budget proposal. At the same time, we have requested our existing coal power plants to put up sample stock emission monitoring boards in the vicinity of their main entrance gates. We are happy to note that GM Power and Petron have already established such boards. And so when you pass through this, you can already see the emission uh, data of some of their stocks. Yung stock, yung pen stock. Yung nilalabasan ng mga usok nila. In the case of the mining industry, we are monitoring the operations of industrial sand and gravel permittees with the MGB, as well as small-scale quarry operations. We are ensuring their compliance to their respective approved environmental management plans. 
In forestry, we have started updating our ISF database to ensure that we are assisting the correct individuals and CSC holders. However, we are also cooperating with Penro Road Mama and these two centros in the implementation of the community-based forest management program. We have recently distributed some bamboo, bamboo planting materials and farm tools to our people's organizations. Indeed, managing our environment requires the cooperation and participation of everybody in Bataan to effectively guide all these efforts and upon instruction of our good governor, Abed Garcia, we have started a study on alternatives to making Bataan a zero net carbon emitter. Thus, we are in to study the province's carbon carrying capacity in order to inform the updating of our environment code. Aside from this, and again, on instruction of Governor Garcia, we are coordinating the province's official attempt to break the current Guinness World Record on the most number of trees planted sa isang oras in a single location by an unlimited size of volunteers. Currently, ang record na, na, na ngayon, na present, ay 208,000 plus seedlings planted in one hour by 590 plus thousand volunteers. At yun po ay hinawakan ng isang power company sa Punjab, India. Ginawa ito noong 2015. And uh, we are set to break it given the outpouring of support from the private sector, from our different department heads, and even from our component LGUs, the municipalities. We have scheduled this official attempt on June 24. Ano po ang importansya ng 24? Wala po. Ang mas importante, June 25. Kaya lang, Sabado. But June 25 has been declared as the National Arbor Day of the Philippines. And uh, because of this, we want to show to the world that Pataan is one in managing and protecting and caring for our environment. This uh, Ito po ang mga ginagawa at nagawa ng PGN Pro at gagawin pa po. Maraming salamat. Malinang umaga po sa ating lahat and uh, we want to thank uh, Kuya Vic ng ating PGN Pro na iba sa Penro uh, para sa kanyang uh, panguna at ng kanyang departamento ng ating flag ceremony this morning. So marami tayong natutunan sa kanyang i-share tungkol sa kanyang departamento uh, pero siguro uh, tandaan po natin yung date ng June 24 na kung saan marami na pong uh, outpouring of support from the private sector at kailangan po syempre mas lalo pa mula sa ating lahat ang suporta dito po sa tree planting activity na gagawin natin sa June, June 24 at uh, dito po susubukan natin kalunin ang world record na nasa Guinness Book ng uh, Punjab, India sa most numbers uh, most numbers of trees planted in one hour. So June 24, marami pong magiging uh, instructions sa ating uh, PGN Rock. Uh, makinig po tayo, mag-participate tayo, mag-cooperate tayo. Nang sa ganon ay makilahok po tayo dun sa activity na gagawin sa June 24. At tayo po ay maging bahagi itong uh, momentous occasion kung saan ang bataan ay tatalunin yung world record. Um, gusto po natin mangyari ito, unang-una, nang sa ganun ay uh, mas lalo pang dumami ang puno sa ating mga kabunduman at uh, uh, ito po yung mas maganda para sa ating environment, para sa ating lahat. So we can sustain our uh, growth of economy. Um, aside from that, Bataan wants to send out a strong message na with high economic growth as part of our vision, kailangan balansihin po natin ito at protektahan din po natin yung ating environment. 
Dahil pwede tayo magkaroon ng mataas na level ng economic growth, pero pagkatapos ng ilang taon, ay magsasuffer po tayo katulad po na nangyari sa ibang bansa kung saan meron po silang high economic growth pero ngayon nagsasuffer po sila sa air pollution, water pollution at mga solid waste pollution. So tayo gusto natin tuloy-tuloy at balanse at uh, well-rounded ang growth ng ating lalawigan. So yun po ang tutuloy natin. Uh, on another topic, gusto ko pong uh, congratulate lahat po ng ahensya na may kinalaman sa pagdadaos ng isang maayos na eleksyon dito po sa ating lalawigan. So, nandyan po primarily ang COMELEC, ang PNP, ang ating mga teachers, uh, ang ating MBDA, uh, sino pa ba, ba? Ang ating Army, at lahat po, lahat tayo na uh, tumulong-tulong at uh, nakisa at nagsakripisyo para makaraos na maayos na eleksyon ang ating lalawigan at naging matiwasay po, naging matahimik at naging uh, uh, may credibilidad ang pagdaos ng ating eleksyon. At uh, nagpapasalamat po ang New Lincoln kasama na ating mga board members at lahat po ng uh, bagong nahalal na mga kawani ng ating pamalaan, ng ating public servant para po sa sariwang mandato na ipinigay po ng ating lalawigan. At uh, ngayong tapos na po yung eleksyon, ay uh, siguro panahon na po na magkaisa muli after a very divisive election. Pagamat sa ating lalawigan, hindi ganun ka divisive dahil uh, karamihan naman po ay walang kalaban at ganun naman po sa may laban, very manageable naman po yung naging laban. Nevertheless, sigurado po marami pa rin po mga naging hidwaan Marami pa rin naging tampuhan at marami pa rin naging uh, pagkawatak-wata dahil po sa politika. At ngayon tapos na yung politika, balik na naman po tayo sa trabaho at sana po magkaisa na, mo, na po muli tayo. Uh, kung meron tayo nakatampuhan, ay uh, uh, subukan na natin may pagkaibigan sa kanila. Nang sa ganon ay dire-diretso na po ang ating trabaho dito po sa Lalawigan towards our vision. Uh, we look forward to working with the new administration na nakikita naman po natin sa kanyang pronouncements sa TV na at ito rin po ang sinabi niya sa akin nung mag-uusap kami peace and order will be a priority alam po natin lahat yan at bagamat dito po sa nalawigan ng bataan ay uh, tahimik tayo mas maganda po kung lalo pang magiging matahimik at maganda yung kondisyon na peace and order dito sa ating dalawigan. So we look forward to that and uh, we're gonna work with the new administration towards that. Ang isa pa pong advocacy ng bagong administrasyon na papasok ay ang federal form of government kung saan i-decentralize po ang ating national government o central government at ibababa po sa mga estado ang mas malaking kapangyarihan Uh, economic powers, uh, autonomy, at pera o yung mga pondo na ibababa po sa iba't ibang estado. So we also look forward to that dahil yan po ang pagbibigay na mas malaking kakayahan para sa mga local government units all around the country. At syempre, marami pang mga sinasabi tungkol sa economic growth na palagi po natin na pag-uusapan dahil yun po ang vision natin sa Dalawigan. So, tapos na po ang eleksyon, maaaring iba pa po yung pinoto natin pati sa national uh, positions. Pero ngayon, meron na po tayong uh, uh, nahalal base po sa karamihan ng ating mga maumayan. At syempre, we will work uh, with the new administration ng sa ganon tuloy-tuloy po ang pag-asenso ng ating lalawigan. So, muli po ay uh, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Tapos na po ang politika. Tayo po ay uh, ang provincial capital ng ating lalawigan. So, kakampi, kalaban, nakasama, hindi nakasama, pagsisilbihan po natin ang lahat ng ating mamayan dito po sa minamahal nating lalawigan ng Batan. So, good morning po sa inyo lahat. Tayo po magtrabaho na at maraming maraming salamat.